Hi, my name is Jason. It was a bright sunny day today in Florida, and I was cleaning out my closet and came across something that I almost forgot that I even had. This is a parabolic mirror, and its job is to focus all beams of light that hit its surface to a focal point about two feet off the surface of the mirror. This is way more powerful than what you would get from a magnifying glass. So having this in my hands, I couldn't resist. I had to go outside and set up a little experiment of my own here. So. I have set the mirror in a chair and focused it to right there. <laughs> you can see how fast it ignited that stick into smoke. It's just incredible how much heat's produced there. So I have a gla little glass with about two ounces or so of water, and my goal is to see how long it takes to actually boil this glass of water using only the free energy from the sun in my mirror. I've started a timer in the upper right corner just to track our progress. And also, I have a common kitchen thermometer that I'm going to use to read the temperature as we go. To keep things uh, moving along a little faster, I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, coloring to the water. Uh, this will be coconut aminos, which is essentially like a soy sauce. And it just gives it a tint and allows the water to retain a little bit more heat than it would otherwise. So we're off to the races. Right now we're at 94 degrees, we're about 36 seconds in. So keep your eyes on the thermometer and I'll speed things up uh, in just a minute. This is a bundle of sage, which usually it won't light on fire, but it sure will produce a lot of smoke. That smoke can be real helpful in determining exactly where the focal point is and the beam of light so I don't burn myself or have anything bad happen. So right there at the focal point will be the hottest, most powerful part of the sun that produces the most heat. So looking at it right now, I can tell that my um, glass needs to be lowered down a little bit to get even better results. And right when I did that, I have sped up the video at this point. You can see the temperature is rising pretty quickly. The uh, power coming out of the sunshine is tremendous, but it does take a lot of um, a lot of energy to heat water. And the hotter water gets above air temperature, the more it wants to go back down to air temperature. So the air itself and the surface of the glass are kind of fighting the sunshine, trying to increase the heat to the point of boiling. But so far, so good. We're at um, four minutes and 30 seconds, already at 165 degrees. That is just amazing. I keep checking the, the beam and the focal point uh, with the sage just to make sure we're on track. The, the actual earth is turning and the focal point changes and moves due to the rotation. So every so often it's, it, it's beneficial to actually make a small adjustment to increase uh, the amount of heat being transferred into the water. So here I'm almost at 212, which would be boiling. Now I think what's happened is the tip of the uh, thermometer is actually in the light beam. So I move it aside there and then it makes it go down to uh, just the actual real temperature of the water. So at this point, it looks like we're there. I've got bubbles. I stopped the clock and it seems to be boiling. So it took eight minutes, 22 seconds to get us there with my mirror and some sunshine. So good job. Uh, that was uh, interesting and fun all the same. So I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great rest of your day.